Hi, I'm Swami Govindananda, known as Swamiji. I spent many years in India studying with a great teacher uh, to understand what it is that makes us who we are. I travel the world a lot giving programs and I've got online classes and so on. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because it's becoming very clear that there's a bit of a crisis going on in many people's lives. The subject of depression, it's something that many of us don't want to admit to or we're suffering from, but it's a very real uh, situation and it causes great harm to the individual and makes those folk around them also wish that they could help. So a friend of mine asked me, could you just say a few words about depression? One of the first things to understand is that the power of thought, the mind that we have, by thinking you can talk yourself into feeling depressed and by thinking you can talk yourself out of feeling depressed. Now, I know that sounds so simplistic, but you see, when you layer thoughts, oh, I'm feeling no good, oh, my life is bad, oh, my life is bad, you are deepening the impression in your mind that you are unhappy, that the world doesn't understand you, and so on. Now, if you could turn that around, and instead of self-talking, telling yourself the story that you are depressed, that you're sad, that you're unhappy, if you could turn that around and start thinking, actually, you know, I do, I am okay. I have value. I can participate in society. And so you start layering the other way. You layer thoughts of self-worth, of self-value, that I'm okay, I can be good. Three of the world's greatest teachers in our history talked about the value of the mind. One said, as you think, you will become. The other said, as you sow, as you do an action, so you'll get the results. The third great teacher said, your mind, you know, by thinking, you can bind yourself, and by thinking, you can liberate yourself. You can rise up or sink down. So when it comes to depression, change the story about yourself and get out in community, take on a sport, exercise, do yoga, walk in the park, keep the company of those who speak positively with you, positively, and lift you up rather than bring you down. Don't listen to criticism about yourself, or if you hear any criticism and you feel it's valid, then make the decision to improve yourself. Everything rests with you. You have to turn this around. You have to start thinking positively, doing actions that enable the body to breathe and move. You should learn to eat well. By eating well, I mean not fast foods, but take foods that give nutrition and vitality to your body. And you should learn to move well. And by moving well, I mean exercise. It could be yoga, could be running, could be walking, could be simple stretching, could be playing tennis. But move your body, move well, eat well. And most importantly, think well. So take a good look at yourself and say, look, you know what, I am suffering, so I'll change my diet for a better one. I'll change my exercise to work out the body so that when I go to bed at nights, it's worked and it's tired and ready for a sleep, and I will improve the way that I think. I'll self-talk myself into being a positive, cheerful person. I have many talks. If you go to, say, udemy.com, that's U-D-E-M-Y.com, and you look up Master the Mind, a guide for joyful living, You'll find there on that website by myself, Swami Govindananda, five talks that talk about how to make your mind joyful. There it is. I'll be having other talks online and we'll share the details with you at the end of this video. But you know, you can, you should, and you will. Look after yourself, nurture yourself. You'll be surprised 
If you change the attitude, you can get the momentum. And if you come, say, to my Facebook or my website or my online talks, slowly you'll learn more and more about yourself and you realize that you can uh, improve yourself, find the joy in your step and the beauty in your life. It's all possible. Nurture yourself. Take care.